Here at Kuntalam Polytechnic University in Richmond, British Columbia, students are learning ancient Chinese medical techniques. It is part of a movement here in the Canadian province to expand healthcare offerings to reflect a more holistic approach to medicine. PKU has just launched a new acupuncture diploma program, the first of its kind at the public BC University. The program includes 86 credits and 460 hours of clinical practice over six semesters. The body has a natural energy; it's qi, and the idea is that with acupuncture, we can trigger the pain points、uh, on the meridian lines to help channel that qi to promote the body's natural healing ability. Dr. Flokowski says the school launched after the BC government sought to introduce a mainstream acupuncture program at a major public university. He said the new school marks a shift in the province towards professionalizing and accepting traditional Chinese medicine as an effective treatment for Canadian patients. When people think of acupuncture, they would think of you know people with maybe with back spasms,、um, orthopedic type musculoskeletal type injuries.、Uh, acupuncture can also look at、um, allergies, so people have bad allergies and they don't want to take、um, heavy medications during those times. Acupuncture could be a form of therapy that could benefit them. Michelle Chan is one of the school's first students. She says her aunt encouraged her to learn more about her Chinese heritage, and through that, she discovered traditional Chinese medicine. Chang and her fellow students are learning the theory and the practical use of acupuncture. They have been teamed up with several certified clinics in the Vancouver area to observe and eventually treat patients under supervision with acupuncture. Originally, I got my degree in biology, so I've considered going into medic,、uh, Western medicine and apply for med school after graduation.、Um, but then I feel that Chinese medicine is also in in demand because there's Um, I mean, Chinese medicine, Western medicine could be working well together to promote the、um, idea of holism of healing the person's body. She says learning acupuncture has united her interest in her own Chinese heritage and her respect for its traditional medicine, while also training her to work in the modern healthcare industry. So during class time, we study the theory, we study the acupuncture points, and we get. Um, lab time as well, so we practice on each other, and sometimes we practice on ourselves as well. <laughs> Acupuncture in BC is regulated by the College of Traditional Chinese Medicine practitioners and acupuncturists. All practitioners must have a professional license issued by the regulatory college. Dr. Flokowski says the government seems to be recognizing the vitality of the Chinese medicine and adjusting the public health system to reflect a more holistic approach to treatments. So our approach here is to take our Chinese medicine、uh, program, specifically our acupuncture program, and look at how we can blend it inside、uh, the BC medical system to do more of a blended approach of Western medicine and Eastern medicine together to provide the best care for our patients.